and welcome to the Midweek War! We are here to talk some Lucha by God Underground. I'm Mad Mike, y'all know who I am. And with me, as always, is a motherfucker. That's right, I'm talking about... I am talking about Sorbitron. Oh, don't be mad, bro. Don't be mad, bro. At me from the at the time warp, at the look in the past, at the look at uh, past me, right, who's really happy for for later me that's going to watch this, and 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 Mad Mike who's going to be mad at me watching this, and. <laughs> So for Sorg. those that, for those that don't know, I had a little excursion, a work excursion to uh, California uh, about a, a year and two months ago. Uh, what was this May of 2016? And that's when they happened to be filming. Well, what turned out to be right now season three Lucha Underground um, with our good buddy Alex Cars um, of of um, of uh, Power to the Smarks on the Twitters. And uh, and well, y- y- you know, we we saw some later matches here of the um, of the uh, Queda Cup uh, tournament, and um, and in tonight's episode, basically, uh, and a match from last week's episode, and and apparently a match that I think was before the break as well. Uh, so so, um, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, Sorg. Yeah. Mhm. You're fucking welcome, Sorg. Uh huh. Uh huh. You're fucking welcome. Well, I mean, you know, you got to run into everybody at the at New York Comic Con, San Diego yeah, Comic Con. You got the yeah, interview. Yeah. You got to interview Pentagon Junior in person. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. there's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you have a conversation with or co- tea with t- uh, Tyre or something? I can't remember. No. 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 no that really. one didn't happen. Okay, no, that was no. only in my head. Okay. No, that, no, that was, I, that, that was only a fever dream I had. Um, <laughs> that seems about right. Kind of seems dream. about right. This is a different kind of fever dream. Uh, <laughs> by the way, and um, it got Sorg, weird because you know that some of them listen to this. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. It's a different kind of fever dream. It's okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just want one of those bandanas. That's all. Um, by the way, Sorg, I know they can't see this camera angle, but can you or can you not confirm that you have skinned Saltador and put him? Wait, on wait, wait! I can show this studio. camera angle. So, so if we go to Mad Mike's feed over here, I'm going to show you. This is Mad Mike's l- view over here, and we we've put some soundproofing up in the studio. And there's this 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 pattern back here be- behind where Missy works. And uh, tell 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 them out there what you yeah. asked me the first time you saw this. The first time I saw it, I asked if Sorg, after he left the temple, killed and skinned alive Saltador to use it as decoration for the studio. I'm going to tell you there's there's going to be a trios match coming out and coming up soon and I will ask you if you see him after that happens. God damn it, Sorg. I hope I didn't spoil something. I don't think I, I did cuz I think I, I don't think I did. I don't know. There's a lot of deaths on this show, Sorg. You <laughs> might have spoiled something. Maybe, maybe. All right. So anyway, we're here to talk some lucha. Yes, we are. Sorg. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Fucker. All right, Sorg. Mooches of past and present. <laughs> I, I can't wait for the moment where you are just as lost in Lucha as I am. Again. <laughs> well, it's not like I had a lot of answers, to be honest. Can I tell yeah, you? The, okay, but... before we get going, can I tell you the thing that I fucked up in my head when I was remembering things? Absolutely. I yes. thought it was Chavo Guerrero that attacked uh, Dominic. Okay, yeah, definitely. In my head. Child. So remember when I was like, really? He just left town? Really? He lost mm-hmm. Loser Leaves Town? That's a thing that happened? Really? Because I in my head, because who else is gonna fuck with uh the 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 the, the, the child of Ray Mysterio then a Guerrero? Uh and that's just where it popped in my head. But it all came back to me again tonight. It's all coming back to Sorg. I'll mm-hmm. come back to Alright. So anyway, Sorg Qual S to Palabra but a lucha underground. Ooh, uh, remember box. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, but no, for real. Um, do 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 do. My my word for tonight is. Damn. <laughs> that wrestling. <laughs> that wrestling tonight was the, what that this week was. Yeah. I did, this is the point in the show where I'm watching these tapings and I saw um uh Fox and and Ricochet and and my. Like 
your brain just exploded out of the side of your skull because of what you just watched wrestling wise. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that was just like, yeah. oh, this is a lot different in person. Uh, so, uh, and that's where I'm at. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll echo those sentiments. But uh, my my word this week is appetizer. <laughs> Because Sorg, Sorg, I feel like now the past couple weeks have been of Lucha have been good. Mm -hmm. They've been fun match quality wise, but we haven't got a lot of what is my favorite thing about Lucha, the backstage segments. Right. Oh, that changed this week. Mm -hmm. Whoa and how. Mm. And I feel like this is just a sampler of what we're going to get in the future because we got cops talking about gods. We got Matanza turning down raw meat. We we got shit happening, Sork. Holy and God. we have Gift of the Gods medallions returning. <laughs> I love Lucha Underground. All right, Sork. Um, qual is to bueno this week. If you say it's being able to see it live, I'm going to drive to Pittsburgh and slit your throat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Metaphorically. No, 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 no. My good for this week is is realizing that obviously uh, after all that happened uh, all these years ago um, with the uh, 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 custody on a uh, Dominic on a pole match um, that he just turned out just fine. I don't know. He said fuck. He did. He did. Well, I mean, he come said on. fuck. They had, they had to bleep it, I think. Uh, yeah, I think they did a little bit, or he pulled back on it, but I'm, yeah. I'm not sure. Also, interesting, like like security coming out, and and uh, and you know, make sure I you th make sure you protect you make sure you protect Ron Funches, guys. I, I think it's funny that you could tell Dominic was mic'd up when he got knocked I... out. <laughs> did, did, you did, did you did did you? I thought those were just camera mics. No, no, you can see no? the mic back. Okay, okay, you can see the mic back. I don't know where he had the mic, but. It definitely looked like he had a mic back in the back of his shirt. I'm like, that's awesome. <laughs> but it, I, it was cool to see that. It was cool. And this was going to be my mouth, but I'm just going to say it now. I was waiting for fucking Chavo, you asshole. <laughs> like, as soon as they showed Ray's family, I'm like, wait, why is Ray's family in the crowd? He doesn't even have a match tonight. And I'm like, oh, this is the thing Sorg was talking about. Okay. And I was waiting for Chavo, and he never showed he up. He never showed up because I, 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 I hinted at the wrong thing, which then you don't know what I've been doing. Maybe I've been throwing some false signals at you. Except I, I guarantee you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, it's it's been over a year. My, I see true. a lot of wrestling, guys. and. That's true. Yeah, it, but but still, it was, that was a really cool sequence. It was a re not a cool sequence, but it was. I liked it, you know, and and I like what it's gonna probably do leading in for this. Uh, it, this it's this a match. really good way to build their match. Absolutely, so. yeah. Uh, so me bueno this week. Oh, Dante Fox and Prince Puma, y'all. I don't know if I'm gonna see a bear match this year. Like <laughs> I I. I'm not even joking. I might be ready to call match of the year at this point. Right. I, right. I might I might be ready to just call Which it. Which is weird because it's match of last year. <laughs> Technically. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Well, all right. You know what I mean. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, no, no, no. I no, I get completely what you're saying. This is where this timey-wimeyness is, is screwing oh with my head. Oh, my God. It was – that match was just amazing. That match was just everything you want and more, like – just so much fun stuff happening all at once. Mm -hmm. And that one point where Puma does a dive to the outside and he just looks at the camera like like fucking Patrick Bateman in American Psycho is just like, you, you. I'm like, hmm, there's, there's, that is it. There is a point where Fox did like a flip off of like the first turnbuckle on the outside that just seemed like natural. Right, uh -huh. but that's not yeah. a thing you see. It just nope. happened, and yep. like everything is going so smooth and so good, and and not that like um, later with Azteca and and Johnny Johnny Mundo was any slouch oh, yeah, either. No, that was no <laughs> slouch. Like that was still 
real fun. Yeah, <laughs> real, yeah. real fun. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't like there was no filler stuff on this, but still, that was just like, wow, that was a match. That was that was that was a really really fun. Uh, what, what was the third match on there? Phoenix and Pindar. Um, that was this was the Pindar, first yeah. time I had ever n- seen Pindar. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That was the first, like, what the fuck is this guy? <laughs> so, hey, don't hinder Pinder. And I did remember, like, and, and the main thing I remember him for is all the um, wardrobe malfunctions that he has. Oh, uh, yeah, I could see that. Dude can't keep his zipper up. Um, dude cut, lost a piece of his costume at one point, which they covered up mostly, um, you know, in, in post there. Uh, but it, this was the worst. This was the worst case of it with him, and he's been having problems with that zipper ever since he's debuted. Mm-hmm. Poor, poor sleeve stack man. <laughs> I mean, absolutely, yeah. You know, it was the first time where, like, you know, the obviously seeing Drago, I was expecting something like that, but this guy popped out. I'm just like, who the fuck is Lizard Guy? What <laughs> is happening here? And 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 there was that match. So there you go. Okay, then. All right. Uh, but not every show is perfect, not even Lucha Underground. So, Sorg, uh, calls to Malo this week. Oh, yeah, that zipper. I think it's one <laughs> okay, through. Okay, the, the, the Pindar. Pindar uh, Somebody, fix Pindar. Somebody fix Pindar's question. <laughs> Don't hinder hinder the Pindar uh, um, um, wardrobe, okay? Somebody fix that thing. Um, I mean, it's badass, but uh, – and also, I just feel so bad for – like, I, I feel like, can the guy breathe in that thing? Like, I'd love to see the mask. To see how they make they put those things together. Can we get some behind the scenes of costuming or something with Lucha Underground? I would I would love just like a behind the scenes of how they make all the masks, like Drago's mask, because I think the guy who made um, Pindar and and um, Luchasaurus, I think they all get their masks from the same guy that does Drago's. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, I'd Which, love to see and and you know being being you know somebody who's gone, been to the temple and everything. I think it would be cool for people if they do a three sixty shot of some of the uh, points in there. Like, there's a point where you walk in and the gym is right there and the locker room's over here and everything like that. And and, and it's really cool how the layout is in there, I think. I mean, that's me being a behind the scenes guy. Um, you know, always being Rub it in, Sorg. In, in video production. But, but, but I think that's a cool thing that would... It, I don't think it's something that takes away from the production of it if you knew that stuff. Like, and realizing, like, no, actually, this all works out and it's like they're hanging out over here right next to the place where they have to do battle in the temple, right? Um, you know, to, down to, like, realizing, oh, no, that hallway is the hallway we always see, right? Realizing that there is a context, like a physical context to everything, right? Um, yeah. I, I think makes a lot of sense. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we would all love to get a 360 inside view of the temple, Sorg. I think we'd all love that. All of us. When tapings come up again... We will have to plan a mayhem, not we'll, road we'll trip. Ha- we need to kickstart to get Mad Mike out to L.A. <laughs> we'll we'll work on that. We'll work on that. Hey, we'll, I'm we'll kickstart it. It'll be I, great. I got at least one west, two West Coast trips coming up in the next year. So not entirely <laughs> in L.A., but if uh, I will, I'm willing to take a train to make this thing happen. Okay. If it, if it lines right. up with anything like that. Yes. Mike, I, the I, next I, mission, I, I, the next Mayhem mission is to get Mike to the temple. Yes. That that is I just want I just want to be the guy eating the sandwich in the in the Lucha bathroom. I just want to be that guy. Okay, is you don't let you in the bathroom because there's there's porta potties outside, but there's really nice like the movie porta Sorg, potties. Sorg, don't kill my dream. Maybe, maybe considering our affiliation with Lucha Underground, they'll 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 let you eat a sandwich in the I, bathroom. I just I just want to eat I a can, sandwich. Maybe, in the maybe if you ask nicely, they'll let you in the bathroom and eat a sandwich. I, that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. You feel a really good guy. In the, I mean, nothing against uh, uh, Masaro, isn't it? Um, yes. Nothing against the snoring elbow, um, who's been fantastic on Twitter lately. Uh, but uh, but I think you would make a really good sandwich eating guy. I I think I would. I, I I'd like to think that. He could be storing anyway, story uh, elbow the sequel. Back back to back to Lucha. Um uh, Mimalo this week is um I don't know why um why uh oh I can't think of her name now. The um police woman. Oh I don't I know her name either. Her name. Oh man, alright, it's gonna bother me. Uh but 
you, you guys know who I'm you talking You mean about. the child from the flashback, right? If nobody else pieced that together. <laughs> the girl who's obviously at least a few hundred years old. Looking great for it. Yeah, well, she has half of Katrina's uh, medallions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's basically what it is. Yep. Um, but let's... Sorry. Damn it. I'm trying to think of her name. Um, but basically... Uh, Captain Vasquez. Okay. Captain Vasquez. Um, me Malo is... She wants Cortez Castro to die. <laughs> yeah! She wants him to die. Hi, She's hi. She's trying you to get him to steal the gauntlet? No, sir. <laughs> no, ma'am. You do not send Hawkeye in to go after Thanos. All right? That's not how this <laughs> works. You do not send in Hawkeye to go after Thanos. You send in the fucking Hulk. Apparently she is the Hulk, so... Well, it, it sounded like... And Sorg... If, if this is where we're going, then this is going to turn from a Malo to a Bueno very quickly. It sounded like she wants to send in Mill. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. So we get yeah. Monster versus God Machine. Ver- God, God versus Death. Oh. Sign me the fuck up. <laughs> God versus Death with special referee Nietzsche. That's a really intellectual joke. I apologize, but it was right there. <laughs> we'll explain it in the after show. Yeah. Well, just just look up Nietzsche and God. You'll figure it out. Okay. If you need, if you need help figuring out how to spell Nietzsche, I can't help it because I forget how to spell it. <laughs> but I know the joke works. Oh, uh, no. Okay. Oh, God. Um, but, yeah. I... Cortez better not try and steal that fucking gauntlet. We okay. okay I'm gonna say this. He's question. gonna get his head squished. He, he's gonna, yeah. It's gonna be very squish. It, we're gonna have another palabra of the week being squished. God. <laughs> we gotta we gotta get Cortez. We gotta get Reyes on this show before he gets killed we off. Really do <laughs> before, before he gets killed. Because I don't before want my first question. Killed. I don't want my first question to be what's it like being a dead man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. All right. Well, Sorg, um, not that we necessarily can come up with better stuff, but Koalas to Cambio, Paolo Lucha Underground, what would you change? What would I change? I don't know. More <laughs> bright colors. I, I have no idea. I wish I was wearing a Mayhem Show shirt, okay? I, I That's all I got. I, I also, <laughs> like, and again, I, I mentioned this last week, I kind of have to watch it one time watching the match and then another time watching my reactions, which apparently are not many. Um, yeah, I, you, you were kind of stone-faced. I'm like... He's not even Dude, I it. don't know. Like, I, motherfucker. No, I don't. I, you haven't watched me watch wrestling. Like, I'm, That's true. like, enveloped in it. Like, I am in analytical mode when That's I watch true. wrestling. Because you've seen me watch wrestling. I yeah. am in full out, fuck you, I'm going to scream shit mode. <laughs> I, I, I am the one sitting there during Raw, and everybody else is leaning back, having a good time, drinking their beers, whatever, you know, except for the kid that's jumping around next to me. It's okay. It's Carlin's. Um, and I'm like leaned in, you know, you know, head on my hand, just watching and observing and seeing what's going on. I wonder what lens they're using. No, no, no. Not even that. I barely (laughs) did that this show. I'm actually paying attention to the shows now when it comes to raw. This is where we've gotten to. Yeah. Good. No, good for raw. Good for raw that I'm more interested in them and their, than their production monkeys. No, no, let's let's not go good for Raw. But no, no, no. Like in general, yes, I'm enveloped in the show. This is another discussion for Monday night. Uh, but anyways, and, and even and even Lucha, there was a little bit of that where I was like, because I am interested to see how the production goes and everything like that. There was so just take it that in, and then during the matches, I'm just like, what am I seeing? You know, I was um, in awe. I think when it came to this, I needed to watch the. Um the Puma Dante match on slow motion just to make sure I caught everything. <laughs> That's true. I'm you not even need, joking. Can I just knock it down quarter speed, you know, yeah. just to be safe? Um, 
let's see. If I, if I had one change this week, I I would have had Don, um, Killshot explain a tiny bit more. Because mm-hmm. at this point, I honestly don't know who's the heel and who's the face. I mm, yeah. Because it feels like they've do, they've done a double turn. I think they're both dicks. Okay. All right. Because it's gone to this guy's popped up and he's being such a dick about things. And then it's turned into, well, he was completely left behind, so he's kind of justified. But it could still turn around to that guy only had a chance to get himself out. You know, I mean, and it's okay. Yeah, like, I, and then like, they're going to be a kick ass. More... And then it turns out there's a third guy that was in there. And then he becomes the next guy in their trios. And then that becomes but... a storyline for season four. But who is the third man? <laughs> who is the third man in the Hogan, brother. Turns out it was Willie Mac the whole time. Oh god. If only. No, but like <laughs> like I, I want because and we've been told that there is a match coming down the pipeline between Dante Fox and Killshot. When I hear that, I imagine it involves guns, just straight guns well, at this point. <laughs> like, just, did you ever see Lucha gunfighting? It's like John Wick with masks. You remember the nunchuck fight? The nunchuck <laughs> match? Does. Lucha's just going to have a gun match. It's going to be. Welcome be to the gun. first ever pistol whip match in professional wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just watched Atomic Blonde yesterday, so it's way on my mind. <laughs> Dante Fox is going to straight up use a bayonet. Special referee, the uh, Charlize Theron. Because <laughs> why not? I'm okay with all of this. No, but I, I, I don't know what their match is coming up. I have a guess. I've told you my guess, right, Sorg? I think so. Let's the Lucha, For the audience. A Lucha, a Lucha scaffolding match. Mm-hmm. That's my guess. I know. I, I know. Because, I'm not big on it fitting in, but okay. Because like there, there have been a lot of scenes where either one of them is perched up on a high pe- pedestal, looking at the other one. And I think, I think that's a little bit of a leap, Mike. I think it's gonna be a big leap, Sorg. Ah! Hey, <laughs> we just did that. We just did that. We don't plan these things, guys. They just happen. Sorry. They just happen. Exactly. Oh, jeez, I keep hitting that one. Sorry about that. They just happen. But um, yeah, that'd be my change. I just want to know a little bit more about uh the kill shot stuff. Like I, mm-hmm. I think it would have behooved him to talk a little bit more. I mean, he probably didn't because it's probably gonna be a big backstage segment. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I get that. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, we just want to hear a little bit more. So sort, we didn't even cover everything on this episode because there's Mm-mm. a lot of stuff to Mm-mm. talk about. Mm-mm. Um. Poor Melissa Santos. Sorg, um, let me ask you a question. Is Marty just going to end up wearing her as a coat? <laughs> well, that didn't happen. I can say in, in full uh, non-disclosure, that did not happen at my tapings. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just picturing I'm picturing the the Simpsons ripoff from um, from uh, Beauty and the Beast. Or Monty Burns is just singing See My Vest. <laughs> and it's just going to be garment made out of Melissa Santos. Oof. Oof. <laughs> I think, thankfully, it's just going towards a mask versus something match, which I don't know. Has Marty had a shaved head in the last year? <laughs> Not <laughs> so, that I've seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So maybe, maybe a mask versus genitals match. <sighs> Vasectomy on a pole match? Vasectomy on a pole match. Special referee John Bobbitt. Mm. Only in Lucha Underground. Would that he's be got, okay? He's the only one that the balls. Oh, the oh, we did that. We definitely did yeah, that. I did mm. that. That one wasn't planned either, mm. as you can tell. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> but and Sork, um, so did you know Matanza just ate raw meat? Mm-hmm. Well, no, he didn't. <laughs> no, but but that was that was the intention. Okay. Was that he just, like, just serving him a plate of raw meat? Did you really expect anything else at this point? I, I didn't, but Sorg, are we gonna? Is this gonna be like Dragon Ball Z Clash of Gods? Are we gonna have like Matanza, Cage, and Mill in a triple threat god match? That's 
just like, let, let's just picture that for a second. You ever like you know they could like just have the segment where they like they do kill everybody in the arena. You know, I uh-huh. mean, just that could be it. If it's gonna happen anywhere, it would just blow your mind. You know, it'd be like the Ch- Chikara thing where they shut it down in the middle of a pay per view, um, but morbid. And and here's here's what I want to know because. I'm thinking about this, Sorg, and I want a side-by-side of Matanza's mask and Cage's gauntlet. Because I have a feeling we might have an Exodia situation. For those of you who don't know from the the show Yu-Gi-Oh!, Exodia (laughs) is parts of a god. By the way, is the second anime reference this episode in the last, like, five minutes? Probably not the last. Sorg, I think Matanza and Cage both have artifacts from the same god. That makes sense. Oh, that absolutely makes sense. I know, and that's what what I'm thinking. And I'm thinking that Rock is also part of it. Hmm. That's what I'm thinking. The the god that saved Mil Muertes so he would become the bringer of a thousand deaths. Mm. Is I think it's all part of it. Poor Jesus. I think I think this is all part of it. It's just got a lot more interesting. Other than I, I know. just just <laughs> seeing giant guys beat each other up like this got uh-huh. like really interesting. <laughs> like triple hoss fight, motherfucker. Oh, 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 oh man, I can't wait. And just imagine. Cage being able to use the gauntlet in the match. Uh, oh yeah, of course, of course, you got like, it for this. Like thing. I want, I want a triple threat grave consequence. Man, and they're just like dropping like like post effects lightning in the in the middle of the match when he's using it, and just because, right? I, I'm okay with this. Yeah, I'm okay yeah. with all of that. Oh, by the way, supplemental bueno. Totally forgot about it. Did you hear what Johnny Mundo came out to? Welcome to Slamtown. Welcome to Slam Town. That wasn't the first time he's done that. No, that was the first time he's done that. I could have sworn he did before. Okay, okay. No, because he hasn't had a match. And to be fair, we don't hear that in the, in the arena. Well, no, because they recorded it afterwards. I right, think. right. They, well, they, they, they so put, that, that was all in post. Well, all the music, all the music, no music plays in the temple, except for the live stuff. Right? Except for the live band, yeah, and they're not yeah. like playing the people in. It, it's they announce them or they come in on their own or you know depending on what order they're doing things you know it's just like boom here he comes people are cheering because here comes phoenix through the crowd right uh yeah. so i did not hear welcome to slam town but the band was amazing excellent but yeah mundo came out to welcome to slam town and i was like hey that's my ringtone <laughs> nice nice <laughs> yeah yeah by the way if i do ever get to see chai mundo and taya um, I'm just going to show him that, like, hi, your theme song is my ringtone now. <laughs> Hashtag get boomed. <laughs> I don't. I didn't see a lot of them. Um, I think this is a good spot for. Uh, do we? We need. We need to do rankings, right? Yes, we have to do rankings. Let's do rankings, and I want to get you to give me a quick, quick, quick. Uh, a thumbs up, thumbs down on 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 the the on Boone. Movie, on Boone. Okay. Right, yeah. Uh, right, well, ranking. Right. Ranking number one. Uh, yeah, ranking number one. I mean, come I'm on. I'm sorry. Uh, that's... We, we're getting like, called out for this, Mike. Mike, I, I mean, I don't know. It's not that we're showing favoritism except for this is our favorite thing. Uh, Brandon is saying. Could have, Lucha could have literally just been the Puma versus Dante Fox match. Like, that could have been the whole show, mm-hmm. and I still would have ranked it number one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's how good that match was. Right. That match was amazing yes tina i i know ty and mundo are going to be in new york this weekend for gfw i unfortunately am going to be slinging toys at children so i cannot go see that so so the uh man or i'm sorry mainstream matt um yes. sent us an updated uh bracketology oh yay brackets yes so so just a reminder where are we at where are we for the semifinals? we have uh-huh. coming up now pentagon dark against tejano Oh man! I might. Ha- I'm uh, considering another one. I think I saw this match. All right, Sorg. Do you know what my prediction is for this? I can't tell you who won. I honestly can't remember who no, won. That's fine. 
My prediction for this match is that Famous B gets his fucking arm broken. That could be. That could very well That's be. That's my prediction. I And again, I really do not recall winners. I do not. I just remember moments of matches and things. Uh, Sork, you, uh, I, you, I, you, uh, you had a hallucination. You saw Chavo Guerrero. That so is true. I like, like, I, like, my, I my information is not good. I thought I saw Chavo Guerrero at my taping, which obviously I did not. Uh, at least not I mean, in the segment. He might have been backstage. I, but... I, I, who knows? Uh, maybe I saw him get in the van afterwards or something. Or maybe I, I don't know. But, um, um, but the other one is uh, Mel Mortez and Jeremiah Crane. Fuck! Oh, oh, it is man. all right. All right. Think about the most violent thing you can think of in Lucha Underground. That's it. Um, I will tell you that. Uh, that is this. This is where I was looking forward to. When I've been kind of like when I did the math on the brackets during your bracketology, and I said, mm-hmm. "Wait, Crane, Mil Martez. Oh shit! <laughs> I got a few weeks <laughs> for this one." Um, I was very, very excited about that one, of course. Yeah. Um, um, mm-hmm. Man. Mm-hmm. All right, but my my official prediction for the other one is, uh, I'm gonna say Pentagon. Mm-hmm. Pentagon wins. I think I think um, it, Pentagon. I, I and again, not remembering exactly who won. Um, I I think it could become Pentagon and Martez. That just feels like the greatest yeah. thing. Oh, no, I got, that, I, that's I'm, uh, that's where I'm feeling. We're going with this too. I'm feeling Pentagon versus Mill. Mm-hmm. That's where we're headed. I would not be opposed to Pentagon versus Jeremiah Crane. Right. I'd be opposed to that at all. Or hell, even Tejano versus Mill. I would not be opposed to that either. And then we just but. did we we just did of course tonight Pindar and Phoenix or this week Pindar and Phoenix and Prince Puma and Dante Fox, which lands us with Phoenix and Prince Puma. <laughs> you know who the you know who the winners gonna be in that sort? The fans. The fans. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which means in our prediction-y kind of thing, which is funny because this is these are all like original OG Lucha guys. Uh-huh. in this uh in in the in the proposed what we think will be the final final four phoenix and puma milwaretes and De- and pentagon so it's going to be one of those four guys yeah well, against... wait, wait a minute hold on hold on because right? you said we have um i think we're missing a match no because um they they filled into the semifinals in the one bracket, but not in the other. We still have to get oh, the rest right. of this current okay. round, okay. I believe. So next week, if I'm doing my math right, is Pentagon Dark and um, Tejano and Mil Muertes and, and Jeremiah Crane. Okay, okay, okay. I got confused. Okay. I believe. All right, yeah. So, okay. so that makes shit. All right, so we're we looking good. at a potential final four of Phoenix, Puma, Pentagon, and Mill. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Damn. <laughs> all, yeah, yeah. And there is still one, there's still, uh, there's something that was taped that really, really, really confused me live. And I can't wait to find the reason. It's one of those things where you watch and it's like, okay, something backstage happens that makes this thing happen. Right? Okay. Uh, and I don't want to get any more into no, do it. Do not, Sorg, I, I will cut. It was a really, <laughs> it was it was weird and something that I, I I've never seen in a taping before. Um, so, and I'll tell you when we get to it. Um, but, but it's just still like, okay, that, that thing we haven't seen yet. I still don't understand why that happens, but it, the, it, I don't remember which match it was for. And, um, cause it was something that happened around the match. And, uh, and, and, and I don't know how many matches I still have yet to see. So, okay. All right. Um, but um, yeah, if I, yeah, and I, so and, I'm I'm and, thinking of fin- I'm thinking of final four of Phoenix, hmm. Puma, Pentagon, and Mill. And then I and have, out of that because because yeah, honestly yeah. I don't even know who's gonna win that title match between yeah. Ray and Mundo. No, no, at this point, who knows? It could be anything, and, and, and any any possibility is amazing. <laughs> like, but you know, <laughs> you kind of feel like it's gonna turn into uh, Puma versus uh, Ray in Ray. the end, like you know, kind of uh, meet your master situation, but. But the thing it, is, that doesn't necessarily even have to be for the title. No, it doesn't. Absolutely not. Puma could come on and screw him over or something. All right. I'm going to make a Dark Horse prediction for, for what the um, Ultima Lucha Trace May Van is. Mm-hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a weird prediction. Pentagon versus Mundo. <laughs> Pentagon versus Mundo, <laughs> I think. Did I, did, I read, did I read Brandon's comment here? 
Uh, I don't know. I'm guessing that Lucha Lung, uh, Underground is going to be ranked number one every week till the show is no more. Um, Not necessarily. I ranked it number two a couple weeks ago. Uh, yes, that is absolutely true. But I think uh, this part of the season, unless they have a really weird setup for Lucha Under, Lucha uh, uh, Lucha Dos or Trace or uh, yeah. damn it, um, Ultima Lucha. Ultima Lucha. Thank you. Um, unless there's a weird like off setup week. I think it's yeah, it's gonna be number one. I mean, look at the, look at the trajectory of this thing. Well, I mean, did you watch the show? Did you see that match with Puma and Dante Fox? That's fucking number one with a bullet. I don't Nobody's care what anyone's coming says. close to that. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Alistair Black can kick as many people in the head as he wants, and please do that. Yes, and please do, but that that ain't gonna touch it. That ain't mm -mm. gonna touch it at all. Mm -mm. Unless Oscar like just in her pantsuit, kick the head off Bobby Roode. That might be the only thing that would topple it for me. <laughs> By the way, would love that. Mm -hmm. Oscar versus Bobby Roode. Battle of the undefeated champions. Please, let's do that instead. Because Oscar would beat the fuck out of Bobby Roode. <laughs> pantsuit fight, right. fight black, or white, pantsuit fight gray. I don't know. I'm yes. sorry. It's too late right. for me to make rhymes. All right. Sorg, did we miss anything from Lucha? I think we covered most of it. Mostly, yeah, even the backstagey stuff. And, yeah. and next week we have we have some gifts of God's action happening. Mm hmm mm hmm And it sounds like a trios match. Mm -hmm. Where Taya Oh, we did forget something. Jack Evans jaws wired shut. Yep. Which again <laughs> so makes good. Which again now something I saw makes sense. <laughs> so So good. So, so good. Because there's a match where Jack Evans is doing this weird, like, he's not talking, he's not happy kind of thing, right? And I'm just mm -hmm. like, in my mind, somebody put a spell on him that he can't talk for some reason. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, again, trying to connect the dots of where we're at and realizing I have a whole season of anything could have happened to this guy. In my mind, I settled on somebody put a spell on Jack Evans that he can't talk anymore and he's really frustrated about it and he was kind of pouty, you know, as he's been in the last few matches, right? And as, then, as you do. Yeah, and now it's just like, nah, he's had his jaw shut. I was like, oh. That, that's a logical yeah. conclusion. That's yeah. a logical conclusion for me. Yeah. But yeah. him trying to cut a promo with his jaws wired mm -hmm. shut, mm -hmm. amazing. And I even tweeted it last night, and I think PJ Black agreed with me. We need to have our first Lucha Underground sitcom. PJ Black and Jack Evans in Jaws Wired Shut. Jack, Jack Evans also, I believe, liked and retweeted that, if I recall. So, <laughs> so they both agree. Basically, both it's confirmed. It's confirmed. We know producers now. We can make this happen, y'all. Somebody's jumping off that Big Brother money to get on the sitcom money right there. Don't mention jumping off things to PJ Black, mm -mm, Sword. Mm -mm. It gets us in enough trouble as oh, it man, is. Oh, man, that, although that would be a great I Killed Kenny um, kind of moment on the show every week. <laughs> oh, my God. They killed PJ. Ooh. You bastards. Because <laughs> he can't say you bastards because his jaw's wired shut. <laughs> That'd be great. They're just they're just two of the worst X Games people ever. They are just <laughs> always injured in interesting ways. It's like always sunny in Guadalajara. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? That's the sitcom. The entire worldwide underground in it's always sunny in Guadalajara. Oh That's God. it. Just That's it. The most horrible people that get like, injured all the time. PJ bangs Taya's mom. Like, boom, we have episode titles right off wow. the bat, Sorg. Wow, I mean, just between PJ and and Jack and wait, who's the Danny DeVito of the group? Is that more? Is that Mundo? No, that's their um um their agent. the agent guy. Okay, okay. The agent guy that, de that just debuted last week. And, and, oh and, no, or Ricky Mandel. Ricky Mandel is Danny DeVito. It could be the Danny DeVito. Okay, okay. Do we have an episode where they find a bunch of Nazi me memorabilia? And it gets real awkward. Like, are no, we doing that no, kind of thing? Or? Sort. We have an episode where we find a bunch of John Morrison memorabilia, and it gets real uh, awkward. <laughs> who's Johnny Nitro? Uh, anyways. <laughs> uh, uh, dirt uh, cheap? Real quick, because this is going way too long. <laughs> 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 
dirt you ever come What's the dirt sheet? Oh no, I was like, I What's this guy from the real world doing? Um, so, so, anyways, um, tell me about Boone the Bounty Hunter real Sword quick. Boone is so good! Should I drop real money on this thing and get the digital Sorg. download? Is it, what, what's happening here? Sorg! Oh. Boone the Bounty Hunter! Get my ass to Walmart, right? I paid ten bucks for this worth every penny dvd yes dvd dvd it's actually in my dvd player still <laughs> look right at this now. empty case i got from walmart guys ah, no it is sorg do, do you like cheesy 80s action flicks do i do you like lucha underground let's see boom I'm, uh, I, as we can attest yes yes Wait, did they, did they not even offer it in Blu-ray? No, they don't. <laughs> wait, wait, it's not even... Did they film it in SD? What's going on here? I don't know, but Sorg... Oh, guy, guys, guys, it's out of stock at my store, according yeah. to the Walmart app. Sorg, wow. Sorg, I'm telling you, go, go Amazon, send it to your house, make your world a better place, Make my get world booed. a better place, wow. Get it, Mundo World? Oh, do, huh? I have to, do I have to get it huh? on disc? I don't like physical things. Sorg. Well, then watch it. There's a, there's a way to watch it oh, digitally, I think. Boone the Bounty Hunter. Uh, Bo Bounty Hats is a thing. Oh, geez. 999. Amazon Video. Not available. Sorg. It's it's really fun. Oh, I uh, a, a, lot of, a lot of the scenes are like you cut together interstitials from Lucha Underground. Oh, great. <laughs> Sorg, he does. Oh, it's a hot TV fourteen. Sorg, he does the end of the world off of Van. Oh man! Oh wait, I want to watch the trailer again. Um, okay, okay. Um, it, where do you rank really in, in in everything you watched this week? Where do you rank Boone the Bounty Hunter versus the three other wrestling shows on a midweek war? <laughs> now we got serious. Oh, oh that's that's tough. Because all right, here here's my quandary. Is a flipping Canadian destroyer in a bar greater than, less than, or equal to Asuka in a pantsuit? Oh, that's a tough question. Right? That that's that's kind of where I'm struggling with this. I think you I'll know my say answer. it's on par with where NXT is. Because it's as as fun as Boon the Valley Hunter is, it still ain't better than that Boom that Puma and Dante match. <laughs> It still ain't better than that match. Mm -hmm. That match is real, real good. But uh, yeah, Sword, you gotta watch Boone the Bounty Hunter. It's really, really great. All right, I want to put that on the list. I'm gonna try to get it in this weekend. Yes, and you should also try and watch Boone the Bounty Hunter. Oh, um, ah, jokes. I got him. <laughs> but uh, Sorg, he also says, "Welcome to Boontown." It's yep. really great. It's really great, Sorg. And Sorg, one of the things that instantly improves any DVD watching for me, there are outtakes in the credits. Outtakes in the credits, Sorg. Jeez. Automatically improve any kind of Any viewing. fun stunt-based movie has mm -hmm. to have that. Oh, okay. Um. So before we sign off, Brandon is bringing up something from a program that shall not be named. Apparently, Impact is doing an X Division tournament, mm -hmm. and um, winner gets a title shot. Mm -hmm. I, I heard. I, I saw what the, what the um, Sorg. Have you seen the card for Destination X? Nope. Only what Brandon's told me. I I I got curious and googled it. Oh, it's a weird show. Yeah. <laughs> it's a weird show. And I don't know exactly how it's going to work now with a certain somebody not being available. Because <laughs> um, the main event's supposed to be Loki versus Alvaro Pat Alberto El Patron. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to have Matt Seidel versus Lashley. And the winner faces Patron. No, the winner gets whatever title shot they want. Mm. Which... Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. None of it seems right. Like, the fact that Drago isn't winning that tournament 
they can fuck off right there. Because Drago's... <laughs> You Sorry. don't know what you have. Drag, Drago is very yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here, I mean, I mean, if you listen bring in to the Drago Lu- Lucha and show. don't have Drago, Drago, why are you doing this? Why would you? You might it, as well have brought in Ivan Drago. <laughs> I can't. I can't even anymore. <laughs> All right, Sorg. Where can the good people find you on the internet? Uh, Sorgatron on the Twitter, SorgatronMedia.com. A lot of great stuff happening. Oh, got gotcha you drinking. I'm All sorry. Right. I should have done and longer. You can, and you can find me at Mad Mike for a 3 on the Twitter machine. Also, go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM for when I live tweet Lucha Underground and suggest that I want to see Puma versus Dante Fox in a best of 25 falls match. <laughs> I still would watch that. Um, and one of them seemed to think it was an okay idea. <laughs> but yes. And also... Join us in the Facebook chat. It's a little late for some East Coasters, but West Coast, we know you're out there. Come join us. Tell us what you like about Lucha. If you aren't watching it, we will convince you to fucking watch it. Absolutely. All right. For Sorgatron, I am Mad Mike, and this has been the Midweek War!